welcome to Warwick High School for the middle school volleyball finals. Greg Bickabaris along with Carl Daniel. Glad you're with us. And Carl, this should be a great matchup between Gildersleeve and Ella Fitzgerald. Yeah, they got two really good teams. So this will be a real good matchup tonight for this championship game. And a great atmosphere, too. Oh, yeah. Crowd's going to really be in it. All right, girls and boys doubleheader. Stay tuned here for some great volleyball action. Number 21, Mackenzie Cooper. Number 26, Sharice Augustine. And now for your starting lineup, Number six, Tatiana Maderos. Number seven, Jamani Richmond. Number 10, Olivia Wiggins. Number 13, Cordelia Kleinfeld. Number 18, Kiari Anson. And now for your number one seed, the Gildersleeve Seahawks. Number three, Kennedy Koskindas. Number four, Kendall Wilson. Number seven, Delanian Martinez. Welcome to Warwick High School. Glad you're with us. Hope you enjoy that introduction. Greg Bickaveras along with Carl Daniels and our great crew on this YouTube telecast. And should be a great matchup. And the two teams will feed off the energy from the fans. Yeah, they certainly will. The fans are excited. We hear people cheering already. The teams are hyped up. They're amped up and they're ready to go. And the officials are Bill Bowman. And Jerry Ferrier. Jerry Ferrier was a longtime Lafayette basketball coach, also coached at Denby High School. And a lot of the fans are hyped up here, and it's always great sportsmanship and a lot of fun for these, first the girls and the boys. Yeah, it's going to be two exciting games. The first one here is the matchup between the, two, the girls, and then the boys will be coming up right after this. Gildersleeve is the number one seat as well. Fitzgerald will be wearing the purple and Gildersleeve the Seahawks will be wearing the gray, blue, and black. Fitzgerald is known as the Jazz and of course Gildersleeve Seahawks. Yeah. And you get involved with a lot of the middle schools too. Mm -hmm. There's the head coach 
Mm -hmm. Jay Marino. That middle school is going to get some attention too. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. We had the opportunity uh, last year to interview uh, Coach Marino last year when her team won it here. So she's back in this thing again. And Gildersleeve has always been tough. We saw Gildersleeve in this role last year in the championship game. So they're right back at it again, always coming up with a very good team. And we've been doing this for several years. And it's always fun, kind of our YouTube special. And Ray Price is here with us as well. Should be a lot of fun. And we look forward to seeing a lot of great action. All right. The Jazz will start it off. One nothing in favor of Gildersleeve. Of course, spread, spacing, use the tip to attack the ball. Very important. Both teams keeping it in play. The first few points, you're trying to get the kinks out. Yeah, the first few points, you're trying to get warmed up. I and mean, you're really trying to get a feel for each team as well. You're trying to get a feel for how they're going to do offensively, how they're going to do defensively also. And number 18, Kerry Arrington serving. That's so important to serve. Yeah, when you have a very good server that can get you some points, that can be used to your advantage. Also, Wiggins is out there. Kleinfeld. <laughs> Number six, Medeiros. And number two, Blue. That rhymes. Number two is blue. <laughs> Three to one. So nice start for the Jazz up four to one. And they're a savvy team yeah. that's been here before. Oh, yeah. If you notice number 18, Kira Erickson, she's serving to the back end of Gildersleeve. So she must recognize some type of weakness there. That serve is so important. Just like the pace, spiking, offense, defense, the right mindset, reset, and be aware at all times. Oh, yeah, you definitely have to be aware. So that's something that Gildersleeve is going to have to look at is covering that back end because that's where they're attacking right now. Both teams keeping it in play. You want to cut down on the unforced errors. Excellent movement. And unforced errors can happen, but after a few shots, you can get fatigued as well. Yeah, that fatigue sets in, especially in a sport like volleyball, where you use a lot of your legs as well as your arms. That fatigue can really kick in, especially in the legs first. Five to two. The Jazz hitting it across. And they broke the serve right there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and again, they're going to that back end of their line. They must have seen something in scouting or tape or something. But it seems like every time they serve or hit the ball, they're hitting that back end of that line of Gildersleeve volleyball team. Six to two, the Jazz. Bowman talking to the players. He's been involved in volleyball for a long time. This is number four for Bree. Great teamwork, great spacing. A little bit too far out. A small lead like this doesn't affect Gildersleeve so much. They're the number one seed for a reason. Yeah, using a number one seed, they've been in, you know, blowout games, but they've also been in some tight battles as well. If they've been in those tight battles, they're not going to lose their composure at this point. Pops up in the air. And sometimes the more you volley and rally, the more tired it can make you. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the things that you just want to try to get it over the net 
exert less energy and not more energy. Go to sleep coach by Lorenzo Puentes. And they're down six to four. Wow, almost hit the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Great save. And just like that, it's a one-point lead. Yeah, and now you're starting to see why Gildersleeve was the number one seed in this tournament and why they're back in the championship again. Ray Price doing the camera. Gildersleeve down by one, and they're serving. Nice play by the Jazz. Seven to five. Very intense game early on, Carl. Yeah. yeah. Best of three. Best of three. Yeah. Yeah. If all the games going to be like this, this is going to be a, 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 they sell a, a burner. Fans getting involved, the players. Eight to five. Mm -hmm. Now nine to five. And the Jazz are playing like the Utah Jazz. Yeah, they're coming in. It's like they got Carl Malone and John Stockton out there back in those championship years, but they're once again attacking the back middle of Gildersleeve, and they, that's where they seem to get all their points, especially on these serves. It's hard to beat a team several times in a row. Yeah. We saw that with Menchville and Woodside and the boys. Well, mm -hmm. Menchville season's over now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, it's, it's just so hard to beat a team three times. Eleven to five, as the Jazz have a comfortable lead. There's no big lead, but it's a comfortable lead. You can have a room for a little margin for error. Yeah, yeah, they got a little bit of breathing room right now, and Gildersleeve is trying to do something to stay in it right now. And the thing is, the Jazz aren't really exerting a lot of energy. No, they're not. They're not, but they're hitting the ball. They found a point of attack, and they just keep attacking it. They keep attacking that back end middle of Gildersleeve, and Gildersleeve just hasn't found an answer for that yet. And this is Richmond serving. Number seven. Great serve. The volleyball is pink and white. Sometimes you get caught in no man's land like tennis. Yeah, yeah, you can't get caught sleeping because it's a game of spurts. Is. Yeah, we'll see if um, Gildersleeve can take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it just takes one point yeah. to get you back in the groove. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's the thing is that if you're Fitzgerald, you don't want Gildersleeve to gain momentum, but if you're Gildersleeve, every point is going to give you momentum. And like we said, there's no big lead. No. Don't forget the footwork, be proactive, proper position, teamwork, posture, constantly moving without the ball. Blocking, passing, power hits, attack, serving, passing, and teamwork. 12 to 8. Now 12 to 9. Gildersleeve serving. And they've cut the lead down to 2. Yeah, and that's the thing. In a game like volleyball, you can think you can have a big, huge lead, and all of a sudden it just disappears very quickly. Great atmosphere here. And sometimes your confidence can get shaken. Yeah. And right now we see Gildersleeve with that confidence and 
Ella Fitzgerald is getting a little bit unravel right now, but the Jazz going to have to get their composure back. There's no giant lead out here. Much needed point there for the Jazz. Yeah, they really did need a point there because Gildersleeve was closing the margin, but it's still a tight game, 13 to 11, so it's only a two-point lead. Got to like our mini monitor, Carl. We got the little VU meter right there. Oh, yeah. Well, we can see how our voices are coming in. The, di the digital VU meter. 13 to 11. And just like that, it's 14 to 11. It's a game of momentum for sure. Yeah, we've seen the momentum shift back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Again, Fitzgerald coached by Jay Marino, Gildersleeve coached by Lorenzo Puentes. And a lot of the archive matches are on NNPS Telecom on YouTube. And serving right now is number 19, Chelsea Stapper. We'll see what she can do. Good teamwork. Boy, oh boy, just Gildersleeve has been pretty much in momentum the entire time. But I have a feeling this is going to get more intense as it goes on. Yeah, it's definitely going to get more intense, especially when you consider they have to win three out of five. Sixteen to twelve. Gildersleeve is definitely the closest school here. Mm-hmm. Fitzgerald's a little bit further away. Both in the Newport New School system. Great to see some middle school volleyball. Great Olympic sport over the years. Indoor and outdoor volleyball. Nice serve. A good defense here. That serve controls everything if you've got a person that can serve well. Oh, yeah. The serve can make or break you in terms of points. And there we saw for Gildersleeve, number four, Kendall. Wilson making that serve and getting them some points. Remember, this is the championship game right here. Just like Carl and I have said, nip and tuck. Oh, yeah. 16 to 14. Yeah. This is for all the marbles here. Jazz still leading. I like how they mix up the serve, too. One point game. This is right here where it's going to be the nitty gritty right now. Mm -hmm. At least for this first set. Oh, good save. Might be the play of the day. And the Jazz get the point. Mm -hmm. Seventeen to fifteen. Anybody's ball game early on. Greg Bickavaris, Carl Daniels. Glad you're with us on YouTube. Seventeen to fifteen. Mm -hmm. Here's number six. That's Tatiana Medeiros. Got to have good concentration out here. You can joke and laugh all you want afterwards, but concentration is so important. Oh yeah, yeah. The fun and games are all over with when the game starts. Nice rally here. Three-point lead for Fitzgerald. <laughs> T 
Tatiana serving again. We're at Warwick High School in Newport News. It's so neat to see Jerry Ferrier as one of the officials. <laughs> Longtime great Denby and Lafayette basketball coach. He had some great battles against Jim Harvey and Ben Moore on this court. 19 to 15. I'm impressed by the Jazz's rallying and volley. Big point there. Mm -hmm. For Gildersleeve, Lorenzo Puentes has got a great team. But this is when it all counts right here. Yeah, they the thing that you're seeing from the Jazz is they're just out playing Gildersleeve on the little things, on the, but making the big plays when it matters most. They both practice all the time. 19 to 17, number 22. Rose is serving. And just like that, it's a one point game. 19 to 18. Little time out there. Mm -hmm. And this looks like it's going to go down to the wire. One point game. And this is just game one. You have to win the best three out of five in this championship round. So correction, so correction on it, the best two out of three in this matchup. So this is the first of could be two games or either three. And there is no shot clock if you're wondering, if you're looking at the scoreboard. But anxiety does kick in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Gildersleeve serving. Trailing 19 to 18. Big point coming up. And just like that, Lorenzo Puente's team has tied it up. Yeah, and this is why you see them there, why they're the number one seed and have been the number one seeded team for a reason. Well, that serve is so important. If your arm gets tired, it can affect the serve. Yeah, and on that time, I think that's what exactly what we saw. But at this point in the game, you don't want to have a serve fall short with a tired ball game. That bench support is so important, too. Nice two-point advantage now for Fitzgerald. And this is where you started to see the fatigue you were talking about. We're starting to see that fatigue kind of kick in. Volleyball still has a lot of nice crispness to it. Good rally here, good volley. This is a big point here for Gildersleeve. Both teams setting it up well. Three-point lead, not many spikes so far. No, and that's surprising because usually you would get at least one or two spikes. So that's real surprising nobody has spiked it over the net. It's a very comfortable match so far. 22 to 19. Fitzgerald just gave up that point. So it's 22 to 20. Middle school volleyball finals. Greg Pickabaris, Carl Daniels, glad you're with us. Well, Warwick High School in Newport News. Twenty-two to twenty-one. And on that, Gilda sleeve caught the jazz slipping on that volley. And Fitzgerald got a break there. Up with a two-point lead. We'll see if they can capitalize it on their serve. Yeah, this, this, these last two serves are going to be very important 
for the Jazz. And if you're guilty of sleeve, you're going to have to show why you're the number one team and play good defense. You don't want to question yourself or think too much. It's got to move on to the next point. Big advantage for Fitzgerald. Yeah. Three-point lead, 24-21. And that lead is three. The serve is important here. That's it. And that's 25-21. Ella Fitzgerald wins the first game over Gildersleeve, who was the number one seed coming into this tournament. All right, Fitzgerald wins the first set, best of three by four on the road here in a neutral site at Warwick High School, 25 to 21. We'll see what happens in set two. Stay tuned. Welcome back to set two. Fitzgerald won the first set 25-21 over Gildersleeve. Greg Picadero's Carl Daniels, glad you're with us. We're at Warwick High School in Newport News. So now this is a must set for Gildersleeve. Yeah, it's definitely a must set because if they lose this one, then there goes the championship. And Ella Fitzgerald will win it for the second year in a row. They won it here last year. So Gildersleeve is really going to have to come out this game and just start off very very quickly you gotta play smart for both teams but the thing about Fitzgerald is they don't want to let up either right yeah you definitely want, don't want to let your guard down you want to keep attacking and one of the things we noticed from the first game is that they had a tendency when they served to attack the middle back end of Gildersleeve we'll see if they continue that strategy because that seemed to work for them very very well in that first game some great volleyball, college and professional. And we're privileged to do the middle school today. No score, set number two. And Gildersleeve will be serving. One right to left on the YouTube dial. Officials again, Jerry Ferrier and Bill Bowman. Ferrier wearing the blue shirt. Up on the ladder. That, talk about going to the rafters. Yeah, and that literally went to the rafters on that one. And those early points, they do a lot for momentum and confidence. Yeah. One all. And the other thing, Greg, too, if you're guilty sleep, you can't make those kind of mistakes on your serves. It can be a game of ebb and flows for sure. The energy is really there with um, Fitzgerald. Yeah, you can definitely tell a difference in the energy. And 
Gildersleeve looks like, you know, when you talked about their fatigue, like their fatigue is starting to kick in now. You gotta watch being tight and nervous too. That can affect the play. But for the most part, it's been a great game. You don't want to get sloppy either. No, no, because if you get sloppy, then you allow the other team to kind of gain confidence and get their momentum back that they need. It's all about momentum. Two all. Gildersleeve serving, leading three to two. We're at Warwick High School in Newport News. Fitzgerald won the first set 25-21. Now if this goes into three sets, anything can happen. Yeah, yeah, we're starting to see Gildersleeve, you know, now take a two-point lead, so it looks like that momentum is starting to shift a little bit. Gildersleeve is getting better serves now and getting some points. Four to two. Nice crowd on hand this afternoon at Warwick High School in Newport News. I see a high school hosting a middle school competition. Sometimes it's the tip of the fingers, other times it's the fist, other times it's the hand. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you have to hit it when you're off balance, too. Oh, yeah. Nice. The off balance shots sometimes pay off. Yeah, they really do. And, and we saw a good back and forth between these two teams here. And now Ella Fitzgerald is getting ready to serve. Down 4-3. This is Arrington in the purple. She's got a great serve. That's the last thing you want to do. You have to assume that you've got to hit that ball. Yeah, yeah, and they just assumed that on that time it was going to go out of bounds and Go to sleeve, hit the shot right on the edge of the line to keep it inbound. Got to keep that intensity going. And this is the other thing, too. When you had the number one seeded team down, you wanted to keep them down, but it looks like they're starting to gain that confidence. Five to three in favor of Gildersleeve. Now six to three. And what happens is one point leads to another then it's a domino effect. Yeah, and, that, and that's exactly what we're seeing, a ripple effect right now. And we're starting to see Gildersleeve gain their confidence more and more and more. And the Jazz are kind of unraveling a little bit. Both teams got to be proactive, not reactive. They've had excellent seasons thus far. Much needed for Fitzgerald. Six to four, they're trailing by two. <laughs> Gotta sometimes channel that energy though. Mm -hmm. Because you're gonna really need it if it goes to the third set. Yeah. The fans are important, but they're not getting you any points. No, no, the fans can't help you in that regard. They can cheer you on and, and beef you up and get you hyped and get the adrenaline going, but you gotta put in the work to get the points. Absolutely. Game stoppage here for a second. This is number four, Gianna. Sometimes the lack of communication can hurt. Yeah. Can always be communicating. Mm hmm We see that across all sports all the time. And life as well. Six to five. Yeah. And just like that, Carl, it's six all. Yeah. 
And this is the thing, you know, if you go to sleep, you're already down one game. You don't want to give Ella Fitzgerald that confidence. If you're Ella Fitzgerald, this is the time you want to try to take over to win two games to get out of here with two victories. Six all. Fitzgerald in the purple. And Gildersleeve in the gray, kind of like the Seahawks, the Seattle Seahawks uniform. And they are the Seahawks. Nice rally. Just like that. We've talked about it. It's a game of spurts. It's a game of momentum. And the momentum has shifted for the elephants Gerald Jazz over Gildersleeve right now. Got to have that right body language and posture. Eight to six. Keep it here. to six and the Jazz are serving with the lead and right now Gildersleeve needs to pick up their energy yeah they really do they they look like they're kind of fatigued kind of exhausted kind of a little tired where Ella Fitzgerald look like they've got a renewed sense of energy And you can't get too high or low after one point. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's a game of spurts, like we said. Mm -hmm. And it's really anybody's ball game. I mean, the first set was only decided by four points. Yeah. And that's the thing. As the match wears on, the service will be more difficult. All of a sudden, it seems like getting that ball over the net is like going from Newport News to Hampton. Yeah, yeah, it is. And it seems like you're trying to throw a rock or something or a boat over the net. 11 to 7 in favor of Fitzgerald. I always joke about myself playing basketball. I can barely get a scrap sheet of paper in the trash can. So you know how difficult it is to play basketball or volleyball. Yeah. Yeah, you got to have a, a certain skill set where your arms cannot get tired, neither can your legs. And pick each other up, too. Much needed point there for Gildersleeve. Coached by Lorenzo Puentes, Greg Bicavaris, Carl Daniels here at Warwick High School along with Ray Price, our YouTube special. Fitzgerald saw it by two, 11 to nine with Gildersleeve serving. And you talk about the spurts, we'll see what the points do for Gildersleeve here. Oh, what a save. But it goes in favor of Gildersleeve. But she made a valiant effort. Yeah, yeah, she really did. She had to go and hit it. And we're starting to see the momentum shift a little bit here. 11 all. This service is so important here by number 34. That's Parker. And sometimes, you know, you think too much or you get too tight hitting mm -hmm. that ball. It can all of a sudden look like you're being caved in. 
Yeah, and, and we're, right now what we're seeing is number 34, Kamaria Parker, seem to have found some kind of spot in the middle of Ella Fitzgerald, and that's how they were getting all those points. 12-0 at Warwick High School, middle school volleyball championship. Great volleyball action we've done the last several years. All on YouTube under NNPS Telecom. Sports highlights, Carl show, football games, we got it all. School board meetings, 13 to 12 in favor of Fitzgerald. Up by one point in the deciding set if they win it. If they lose it, we'll go to another set. Great save. But you Every know, point now oh seems yeah. like it's a big mountain. Oh, yeah. And I was going to bring to the point you brought up earlier, too. I'm very surprised nobody has spiked this ball over the net. Yeah. I'm very Maybe we'll see it during the boys' that. game. Who knows? But it's like in tennis, everything is precise. Mm -hmm. Everything is concise. Mm -hmm. Everything is all about angles and it's like geometry almost. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Because I've seen several plays during the course of this game where I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be a spike, but it hasn't been one. Sixteen to twelve. Big serve here. And she's doing a great job serving. Really good job. Yeah. Number she... nineteen, respectively. Stapper. It's almost like quicksand. Yeah. It's sometimes hard to get out of your own feet. Yeah. And it seems like, again, they're going to attack the middle of that defense, and they're attacking one player right now because it seems like that ball is going in their direction. And you want to play to win, not to lose. And the last thing you want to do is stand around. Yeah, exactly. And this league just keeps on growing, and the more this league grows, the toughest going to be to try to come back in this game. Time doesn't stand still for nobody. Mm -hmm. okay. 19 to 13. It's only natural. She's going to get a little tired starting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they got a six point lead. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to keep that momentum up because you don't want to give Gildersleeve confidence. They come back and cut it to one or two points or even tie it because then you really have a ball game and that's when everything starts to get tight. This is Gildersleeve serving. Lefty the south pole. Nice shot. Good save. This might be the point of the set. Great offense and defense by both teams. Good footwork. The point of the set. This is still going on. It's not over yet. That was the point of the set. Yeah, yeah, that was. Both teams battled it out, but I think the mistake there was hitting it backwards instead of hitting it forward, and their teammate just couldn't recover. You can see the body language by Fitzgerald. They're, they're jumping, a lot of space, they're happy, they're smiling. That means a lot. Yeah, it does. It means they got a lot of energy, and 
Gildersleeve right now doesn't have that same energy. They played a great point. The Gildersleeve did the last point. Not enough, though. Any little mini break they can get to rest is good for both teams. Great play by number seven, Martinez for Gildersleeve. Twenty to fourteen in favor of Fitzgerald. They can pause for a second, but you don't mm -hmm. want to let up. Yeah, and one of the things I'm surprised with Gildersleeve too, and we mentioned this several times, they have some height across their front line. I'm very surprised they're not spiking the ball over the net. Somebody's got to step up, be the leader here for both teams. When you're down, somebody's got to step up. Oh, yeah. Four points away for winning the championship. <laughs> 22 to 14 in favor of Fitzgerald. Heck of a serve. So impressed by the defense of Fitzgerald. And the proactive offense by both teams. Harrington. What a save. Great sportsmanship by these girls. I tell you one thing. This Fitzgerald fan base is loud. Yeah, they, yeah, they are. We can we can hear them all over this gym, everywhere. They'll probably erupt if they hang on to win this game in another three points. Not much of an instant replay out here. Yeah, I know. Nice serve there by Gildersleeve. Remember Gildersleeve lost the first set 25-21. Net play. Twenty-two to sixteen in favor of Fitzgerald. We're at Wark High School in Newport News. As February winds down. Sometimes these soft shots count too. You got to stay focused here if you're Fitzgerald. Yeah, if you're Fitzgerald, you need to stay focused. You only have three points to close this game out. This is the time you got to close the game out. So you got to play good defense. And that serve controls the narrative a lot. Yeah, it certainly does. Fitzgerald won by four the first set. They're up by six here in the second set. And serving at 23 to 17. Let's go. Final there you go. toss there. Just like that, Carl, it's match point. Yeah, they're one point away from winning this tournament and upsetting the number one seed, Gildersleeve. It shows you no matter what the rankings are, it's all about how you play. Oh, yeah. Both teams have played well. Any given day, any given day. But somebody's got to win. 24-17. Hey, hey. That's it. Fitzgerald is the championship team.
for middle school volleyball. Winning 25 to 21 and 25 to 17. So the Jazz keep playing the music. Carl, it was a pleasure. Oh yeah, this was a pleasure. And Fitzgerald wins it for the second year in a row. You know, they came into the tournament last year and they come back and they win it again this year. So obviously it's disappointing for Gildersleeve. They've had good teams year in and year out, but they just couldn't pull it out this go round. And of course we got the boys coming up. Stay tuned. We're at a break now, but boys action coming up. <laughs> <laughs> 